this is Ali. Welcome back to In Korea. I hope you're all safe and well wherever you are. Let me briefly remind you that You In Korea is a channel for those who love Korea, who want to learn more about this country. Here I'm trying to share with you guys the stories of my life in Korea for the past 10 years, just general information about the country and maybe some facts that are not really well known worldwide. I hope you enjoy watching our videos. If you like them, please subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comment section. try to bring you guys some hot topics, some trendy topics, things that people talk a lot uh, about in Korea, especially something hot among young Koreans. And today I will be talking about something that I already mentioned before, something that has become a total craze in Korea and it's been like this for a while. Today I'm going to be talking about MBTI and why it is such a huge thing in Korea. Well, MBTI, as you know, is Meyer Briggs Type Indicator, which is basically a psychological test based on a personality type theory. There are basically 16 personality types with four main indicators, such as extroverts and introverts, which is E and I, sensors and intuitive types, S and N, thinkers and feelers, those are T and F, and judges and perceivers, which is J and P accordingly. The test has become such a crazy career during the past couple of years, even more so during the pandemic, with lots of people being stuck at home, not be able to go out or socialize like before. And somehow it has become a time to learn more about ourselves. The MBTI became especially popular in Korea among the so-called MZ generation, which is basically people, people in their 20s and 30s. Actually, the phrase MZ generation itself is a compound made in Korea to describe millennials and Gen Z together because these people are the target audience for most businesses right now because they consume the most content and most products these days. This term is often used in Korea and the MBTI become especially popular among MZ generation, as I said again, due to the fact that there was very little close contact during the pandemic and it is now much more easier to share your personality types online. Actually, recent research in Korea says that Koreans these days are much more interested in understanding themselves and finding themselves like never before. Young people in Korea have a great desire to understand and know who they are. Because there's a lot of information and various choices are available when you buy things or set your career path, the awareness of knowing me, knowing who I am, is becoming stronger in their opinion. In other words, people of these ages want to know their own emotions and their desires to make the right choice. Plus, it's a whole type of fun to share your MBTI with friends online, check theirs and vice versa. This is actually said to be able to let people communicate better. And with Korean society being rather reserved traditionally and people being more willing to communicate through the internet, it is a great help in communication. And of course, as with any other trend in Korea, once something becomes a hot topic, it will be everywhere. From MBTI-related communities that post memes and MBTI-related content, to actual merchandise like, I don't know, various accessories, bags, and so on, 
There are food and restaurants and cafe related recommendations for MBTI types and even career advice. People analyze characters from the movies and dramas and even their favorite K-pop stars. I guess it's somehow fun to know if you have something in common with this or that idol or with this, with this or that character. And I guess it makes fans feel closer to their favorite K-pop stars. Well, for example, my MBTI type is ENFP, which is a campaigner, and some Koreans even call it a human version of a golden retriever. And I know for sure that there are some awesome people who share it with me. Like, hello, I'm the same type with Spider-Man. How's that? And among K-pop stars, of course, there are other awesome ENFPs, such as, for example, NCT's Hechan or BTS's RM, SAMI, other multiple stars, and that's a pretty awesome company. Okay, hold on, let me just ask my cameraman. 혹시 MBTI 뭐예요? ESFJ. ESFJ? Okay, let me just check and find who shares the same MBTI with our cameraman. Hold on a second. Okay, okay, let's see. Oh, A Pink Harry. Oh. Itsi. Itsi Taedong. Yeah. Oh. Let's see, there's some male idols. Oh, Super Junior, Kyuhyun. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh my god, BTS, J Hope. Nice. Cool. Awesome, right? For reference, the most common MBTI type in Korea is INFP, a mediator the emotional introvert, and they even call it in Korea a depressed bunny. The representative K-pop stars of this type are, for example, IU and Sunmi and Shiny Taemin and even BTS Jungkook. And the most rare type in Korea is ENTJ, a commander or natural born leader. Such K-pop idols as Sonia Shide Tiffany, Shiny Key, and Zico are the representatives of this type. And what type are you? Do you know any MBTI of your favorite K-pop stars? Share that in the comment section. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. Again, please let me know your MBTI types in the comment section. Let me know who your favorite idols are and what their types. That will be really interesting for me to read. I will be back with more interesting topics in the future. Until then, please all be safe. Please subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up. Your feedback is always welcome in the comment section. I will be back soon and until then, annyeong!